What you have here is a dental polisher. Think about it. Every time anyone that you know has had their teeth cleaned, the two days they look forward to is the day that their teeth are polished. Now there's some huge advantages to teeth polishing. Teeth are made out of crystals. And crystals really aren't smooth like you think on a tooth. It's the biofilm that makes the tooth smooth and the surface and the enamel. But there are some stains that are resistant. There are some women that really manicure their smile, but they can't get the last little bit. They can't get the little corners done. The only time they get to use that polisher is when they're at the dentist office. But why is it that there's not a product that you can find that'll help you be more beautiful that you can't find at Walmart or Target? Not one, until you try to find a polisher. There's so many benefits to a polisher that there's absolutely no way it can be denied. If my teeth are smooth, they don't, they, they're not as attracted to calcium or tartar. Uh, they don't have as much plaque buildup. If they don't have plaque, they don't get tartar. If they don't get tartar, they don't get calcium. So they're gonna continue to polish their teeth and the doctors are gonna go crazy. They're going to go absolutely crazy. They're gonna say, you're giving them a weapon of mass destruction. I wanna show you again this deal. This is what the weapon looks like. I'm, I couldn't be more proud of it. It's identical to the same profi head that you would have in a dentist office. And guess what? We don't care if you go to the dentist office and get more profi heads. We wholeheartedly believe that the number one problem with dentist office in the country is they're not approachable. So if 10,000 people had these, there'd be 10,000 people who can call a local dentist and say, Doc, you got any profi heads you can sell me? It's the same quality handpiece polisher that you get that you would see at a dentist office. The doctors, the ones that the doctors aren't faster, they're not smoother, they're not more consistent, there's nothing better in the motor. They're just not freaking available. You couldn't buy these for love or money. If, if I gave everybody $5,000, I don't know how they'd come back without breaking into a dentist office, and it's crazy. It's insane. It's not my fault that it's the truth. I didn't want to be the guy that spent six months in Germany and China figuring out a way to convert a profi head so that people can polish their teeth. I didn't want to be that guy. I promise you I didn't. I had a good life before making smile makeovers and doing bleaching trays. But if I was going to reintroduce a bleaching tray, then I'm going to reintroduce a, uh, a serum, and I'm going to do an infusion tray, and I'm going to introduce tools. I'm not going to leave it to where people can't have an average. Think about the college kids. Think, imagine the times that they would have polished their teeth. Life is about advantages. There's not a 20-year-old in the country that's going to go out for special events that doesn't want to have one thing that makes them look a little shinier, a little more polished than the next person, and that's been deprived. We couldn't, we couldn't be more humble to be able to actually put it together. But this thing needs to be made available. And when you put it in your drawer, it's guarded. We have the same infectious infection concern that a doctor would have. We want them to be able to remove that head. We want them to be able to put it back on. But if, if a family uses it, you can put a sleeve over the metal part, you put the head, profi head back on it, and guess what? It's just as if it was brand new for you. So when you buy it, you can buy it for your wife, or buy it for your daughter, or buy it for your family. And now they're polishing their teeth in areas that make them think that it's just not going to be that way. And guess what? It gets a little worse and a little worse. And then they start smoking, or then they go on an event, or they, they start dating somebody else, or they start working different hours. The next thing you know, they're in trouble. And that's when they get in trouble. That's when it comes to warfare, of class warfare. Are they closer or further apart than where they need to be in order to not have decay? We have to prevent decay in this country. I think you can imagine the advantages. Think of all the 20 year olds who can polish their teeth. Think of all the 15 year olds that grew up polishing their teeth and that they used a serum and they used a bleaching gel and they did it at home and they did it with a tray that was effective. This is the tooth at a nano level, what we call nanotechnology under a microscope. It's, you see the cylinders. If you're able to polish these cylinders, let's say you, you use the serum and you infuse it, that infusion goes into that tooth. When it comes out of that tooth, it's a clean tooth. Now you get to polish it. And when you polish it, the surface becomes smooth. And so a polisher is so undervalued as part of oral care. And for a family, it, it's just not that expensive. They, they're just so incredibly valuable that there's just so much value into a polisher. These things shouldn't have to be where no one can do anything. If I did the first three, 
He's made an investment. He's put energy and effort. He's doing some things, but these should be able to be cured, and it shouldn't take that much. It took us going two more steps. Now I think you can see why we do the tools, and now I think you can see why we do the polisher. The polisher will actually move some of this stuff.